our world, religion, has basically, we rejected the annual holy days of God and we have substituted our own holidays. Those holidays are Christmas and Easter and we even see Halloween sneaking into the churches, do we not? Oh yeah. But again, hear me what I say. We have rejected the biblical instructions about God's holy days and we have rejected those, called them Mosaic, Jewish, for Israel only. I mean, it's amazing. We take, we take instruction from the Bible. We take the Word of God and we say, that's not important. Uh, we'll keep our own celebrations and we'll, we'll, we'll worship God this way. We'll worship the little baby Jesus and we'll say he's born on December 25th and we'll say that Christ was, you know, resurrected on a Easter Sunday morning. Okay. Now, is this good? Is this good when we reject the Bible and keep our own traditions? Well, obviously not. I mean, no one would believe that. Let's take a look at Leviticus 23 and verse 4. This is what we have rejected. These are the feasts of the Lord. Now notice, this is the feast of Jehovah. Even holy convocations which you shall proclaim in their season. Now notice this. You are pro to proclaim these days in their seasons. That means you keep them. That means you have a service. That means you lift them up on high. And you say these are important days. These days are all about Jesus Christ. All right. Verse 5. In the 14th day, the first month, at even is the Lord's Passover. And on the 15th day, the same month, is the Feast of Unleavened Bread uh, unto the Lord. Seven days you must eat unleavened bread. Now, Here's the thing. Let me do some correction here. If you don't know when Jesus was crucified or when he was resurrect, re resurrected, if you don't know what God is doing through mankind, if you don't know who Jesus Christ is, you see, the reason religious people don't know the real Jesus is because they don't acknowledge the holy days. If people kept the annual holy days, which are all about Christ Jesus, they would know a lot more about when he was crucified and when he was resurrected, you see. All right, Leviticus 23 and verse 4. These are the feasts of Jehovah, even holy convocations, which you shall proclaim in their seasons. Now, if you don't keep these days, I don't expect you to know a lot about when Christ was crucified or when he was resurrected. In fact, you're going to be somewhat ignorant because you don't observe the holy days.